<laughs> well, that was perfect. So, that's how you get on a bunker. <laughs> We're in the bunker here, plenty of green to work with, but there's some adjustments he's gonna make setup. Okay. Because this is defined as a splash shot, so our whole setup is based around utilizing of hitting the sand. So the tents, we dig our feet in to really get the sense of how firm and how soft the sand is. We're gonna get the ball forward, which is gonna allow us to hit the sand, hit a higher trajectory shot, get our weight left, and then just more of an even pace swing. We don't need to really okay. do anything. We're gonna make the adjustments to the setup, but the adjustments is all about hitting the sand. I think in the past, I've always thought you have to hit the sand really hard. So exactly. So if you dig your feet in an inch yeah. or dig it in two inches, we're going to hit two inches behind it. So we get our weight forward, yeah. dig in, and utilize the full length of the club. Yeah. And let's go. A little hit a little too far behind, but I got it out. But the big deal for you is I would make it consistent. So if I go back to making a full swing back, we're going to allow the club to swing through. Okay. Don't do and so. the same thing here is the pitch up. We're going to get set up. As we get set, so the, the, the common mistake you tend to make is you tend to get the club twisting behind. Yep. So a good rehearsal would be, because we can't ground the club, we're just going to allow the club to hinge up on plane. Whatever direction the butt end of the club is pointing towards is where the club's going to return back to. So now we have structure, and we're going to bring it back down, we're going to rinse and repeat. Okay. Great shot. It's getting out. Yeah, the whole key is our whole yeah. goal is to get it out, then get yeah. it close, then try to hold it. So that's a good area right there. Good. All right. Yeah. Good shot. Yeah. Thanks, man.